SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I got a big update for you guys here, uh, but it's not necessarily the best situation. Uh, by big update, I mean uh, it's going to affect a lot of T-Mobile Home Internet customers. So that's what I mean. In terms of scale, I think it's um, it's going to reach a lot of people. Uh, very quickly, if you want to support the SMT, we've got the Buy Me a Coffee link in the description. And also, if you want to save money on your wireless service and support the channel, you could do so by clicking on the Mint Mobile Partner link save money and support us that way all right so i'm going to show you guys a picture of the particular device that's in question here uh t-mobile just recently added this uh at some point like within the last five or six months uh this is the i hope i'm pronouncing this right is it sagemcom i think is the name of the brand anyways it's it's this particular gateway i don't know if others are impacted but i can confirm that this one is having some very serious issues uh, customers that have the T-Mobile home internet and are using this particular device are unable to connect to the T-Mobile network. So you're not able to browse, you know, you can't stream your shows, just complete, you know, just not working at all. Uh, it's It started happening, I think, earlier today. Uh, some of the machines themselves are actually rebooting, but still unable to reconnect. People are trying to force reboot. Uh, they're trying to do factory resets. You know, um, there's there's errors displaying on this display as well, uh, that LCD display, and uh, people are having hell with it. Anyways, everybody at T-Mobile knows about it. The employees know, engineering knows, you know, customer care knows. Uh, I, I'm hearing it's firmware related. There, I think, was some kind of an update that, that came into some of the models uh, overnight during the maintenance window, and uh, it looks like maybe that firmware break the, the devices or the firmware failed on installation uh, but they are identifying them as error devices uh, so restoring service it seems to have been a failure pretty much all day i've had people reach out to me and share certain things with me in regards to this uh, customers themselves as well as employees uh, they did uh, make me aware of it so i wanted to update you guys on and let you know uh, if you can't get this thing up and running after multiple reboots and power downs and resets, uh, you might have to get yourself a new gateway. And I don't know if they're going to send you a, the same one or if they're going to send you something different. They've got some other models that they have. Uh, I remember the Nokia trash can. I don't know if they still offer those or send them out. Uh, but there's another brand too. I don't know if it's like ASCII or OSCII or whatever that brand is. But try to get yourself something else. Uh, for the most part, since the T-Mobile Home Internet thing started, the gateways have been an absolute nightmare. Uh, T-Mobile really hasn't had good luck with an OEM that's been able to provide with something, you know, very reliable. At best, I would say that maybe one of them has been semi-reliable. The rest of them have required several firmware updates in incredible amounts of, you know, defective units and having to send them back and send out new ones and different ones. Just, uh, hey, you know, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this does seem to be a pretty big scaling issue. I don't know what percentage of customer it impacts, but I'll tell you what, if if your SageMCOM is still working, do not let that thing update because <laughs> it's going to brick it or some, some failure is going to happen on the system side. Uh, so again, I'm just relaying the message, just kind of letting you guys know what I know. Uh, I don't know. It says that, you know, tens of thousands have been impacted. Some of them have actually come back online. Some of them haven't. Uh, they're processing in-store warranty claims on these. You know, they're doing it at retail stores. You might be able to take one in and get a new one, but you might need some some luck on your side because if others already got there, you know, they may be out of out of inventory. So hopefully that that works for you guys and you can get a solution. Uh, but but um. Yeah, I wish you guys the best with that. Hopefully you can get connected back up and running pretty quickly. What do you guys think of all this? Have you been impacted by this? Comment down below your experience and what's going on there. Love to hear what you guys have to say on it. And let me know uh, any updates from anybody on the T-Mobile side if things are getting fixed or not. Interesting to see what it, what was the exact cause and you know how the resolution is coming. Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people. The SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for all things going on with the channel. Uh, big shout out to my YouTube members and Patreon supporters for making content on this channel possible. And to everybody who's ever bought me a coffee, 
and those that consider doing so in the future the link is in the description thank you in advance for that and uh, also don't forget to check out our partner mint mobile partner link in the description save money on your wireless service and help out the channel thanks again for watching see you all in the next one peace